Guys, it is time for the recrowning. We are saying goodbye. Oh, it actually smells. This actually smells bad. Um, we're saying goodbye to this this old guy. It's been around the world with me. Many memories, you and I. Even your white badge here has gone slightly yellow. Yes, you did me proud. You did me well. You served your purpose for many years. However, all things must change. All good things come to an end. So, please welcome, I'm ready to announce, the new guy in town, hot off the press. Can you even see? How's this lighting? Can you see the difference? Look at that. Black, crisp, beautiful, old, stinky, brown. Yes! Look at that! Back in business. This, this is what I love about Sundays in BGC. It is so much quieter. Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new vlog and welcome to Sunday in BGC. This used to be one of our favorite days and we are kind of reliving what we used to do. We always used to come out for a walk on a Sunday morning, didn't we? Although it's a little bit later now, it's like late morning and it's super hot already. Oh yeah, so it's a it's hot one today. Day, yeah, it's 30 something. It is, 30 plus degrees. I just spotted a brand new Range Rover, like the brand new model. And I don't remember seeing too many Range Rovers in the Philippines before. It's in way more this time. We've got an older Range Rover back in the UK, if you've seen some of our vlogs there. The L322. Anyway, welcome to another beautiful day in Manila, in BGC. Look at that, blue skies, quick weather check. Wow, 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 wow. I just feel good here. I don't know what it is. If you watch um, Casey Neistat, very, very famous vlogger, like the vlogger, the original. We were inspired to vlog because of him, partly, and other people. He just got back to New York City where he feels super at home. It feels like it's his place. He feels creative there. I have a similar feeling about BGC. Okay, sheltering from the sun a little bit. We found a bit of shade. Hot one today. We're keeping Koda under his little shade as well. But he, you know what? I've been so impressed. Yeah, he's not been bothered by this, the heat, has he? And no. like, we've been really careful and uh, he's wearing long sleeve, which obviously is going to be a bit warmer, but it means that he's not going to get anything on his skin like sun or mosquitoes. Um, and I think yeah. he's done quite well. We thought he'd really be like sweating, and, but he really hasn't, or crying because it's too hot. Nothing. No sweat. Zero he's, sweat. He's super adjusted to it really, really well. Yeah. And he's sleeping <laughs> he's well. It's warm in, in the England. condo. He is. When we get back to the UK, it's going to be cold. It's going to be freezing. Okay, we're just going to join everyone waiting for the mall to open to get a bit of air con. So many people here. Ooh. Should we get coffee first? Yeah, that's always a good plan. Yeah. That's always I a good don't plan. Like waiting around. I'd rather like be productive. Sounds good. Something else I love. The music's getting a little bit loud, so we might not be able to film. But something I love, like people sitting around on the weekends. A lot of people come to BGC on the weekends. They've also closed off the main street up there, and there seems to be some kind of market going on. So we'll go and check that out on the way to grab some coffee. Um, but the, yeah, the, the weekend vibe in BGC is like unbeatable. I absolutely love it, and I've missed it a lot. Plants, Lucy. Plants oh, everywhere. Music, no, you can dance if you want. It's up to you. Thank you guys. 
guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, something we would have done on a Sunday was Supercar Sunday. It was awesome. There'd be all these supercars around Burgos Circle. And then we'd sometimes stop with some of the guys for coffee. We've got a friend, Darfs, who actually took it out in his Lamborghini one time, which was awesome. I just spotted something walking past here. There's a guy we keep bumping into, a guy called Mergim. He goes around on a scooter with a camera and films vlogs. You might have seen him. You might know who I'm talking about. We bumped into him a number of times now. He's a really cool guy. I like his videos a lot. And we've just stumbled across one of these hubs where they have these scooters. And I've just said to Lucy, I actually fancy a go on one of them. So I might see how easy, I don't know how easy it is to get one. I think you just have to download an app and then like you just pay online. And then I think you can take it and then drop it, take it around BGC. I've seen loads of people on them and drop it back wherever you want. Lucy, I want to grab one of these for a minute. <laughs> We keep wanting to like run errors and we both have different things to do today in BGC. We both have different things. If one of us stays with Coda, the other person can be like three times as fast on a scooter. Yeah, I, know, I don't think when we, I mean, it's harder for us actually to take one of these properly with our baby and stuff. No, but I'm saying if we separate and you like oh, yeah. go run some errands now. Yeah, or grab now. coffee take, or whatever. Take one, no, no, take one now. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm going to grab one. Um, we never got these before. I don't remember I don't know why. seeing them. Yeah. Why would we not, I before know. we had a baby, yeah. we could have gone around like one each going around BGC, but we never did. In London, they have a similar thing. They, we have the, like the Boris bike, it's very bikes, famous yeah. in London, and like some scooters. And there's another brand in Europe. Your dad borrowed them. Yeah, Lime. Lime, Lime I think. But we haven't tried them. So okay, I'm gonna see how easy it is. Find your ride. Oh, you just scan a QR code. Okay. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, it just made a noise. Can we just take it now? You have to read the rules first. What's the rules? Done, done. Okay, we do not have a helmet, but I'm gonna be very, very careful. Oh. Kickstart your ride. Slow down, release the throttle. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this is George's first time on an electric scooter and, and I'm about to stand up. laugh my head off, I think. I'm not sure, just kick it out. Okay. Go right. back a bit. So you kick start your ride. Or you just you just go in it all. I've, I haven't even rode, ridden a normal scooter since I was a kid. I think we need to just quickly do a warning to the whole of BGC. Everyone, right out the way, George is about to get George is about to run you all over. <laughs> Where are you going? Come back! Wow, he's got some speed on him, but there are a lot of bumps to get over. Whoa. Yes! Power! That was really good, I'm impressed. I thought you'd fall off. George, come back! These are awesome! How did we not get these before? So much? much fun! What's the price? Um, I actually don't know. Lucy's looking on the app because we, we've actually just agreed to take this, but we have no idea on the price. <laughs> One peso per minute? No, it's not. Really? A peso per minute? That's way cheaper than anything I've seen in Europe. 50 pesos for 20 minutes. 50 pesos for 20, so that's under a pound for 20 minutes. That's amazing. That's mad. I'm going to take this to go and get another coffee. That's amazing. You guys okay. cool for a bit? You, yeah, you yeah. want to go, Lucy wants to go in the mall to let Koda cool, cool down a little bit. A bit I'm going to take this for a little spin around BGC. All right. It is a few hours later now. The sun is blaring down. I've dropped the scooter and met back up with Lucy and Coda, who are here. Coda's actually having a little nap right now. I actually ended up dropping the scooter not where I took it from because there are so many hubs across BGC. So I just, I found one nearer to where these guys were um, and dropped it back and the payment was just like um, contactless, no cash. I also had a haircut, vlog coming soon about that. But sneak preview and now we're gonna go meet our friend Chawi. You may remember Chawi and Mao. Mao is not in the Philippines right now but we'll just see Chawi on her own um, and we're going to Sue for some lunch which is gonna be lovely hopefully. We've got a little walk there in the sun. I just keep saying it but I can't believe how warm it is today. It's not felt like this yet has it? No this is I, the hottest day maybe. I thought I'd like hacked it. I was like oh well I'd, it's not really affecting me this time but it is now. <laughs> <laughs> this is like it's nice to see another friend for lunch. It's like a trip yeah, of reunions. So nice. So we're currently walking along the main road, which feels a bit strange. You but think this is leaf blown into yeah, our faces. it's convenient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Did you see that? 
Looks amazing, so good. We missed Suv a lot, and we missed our friend Chowie, of course. <laughs> so good to catch up, so many friends here. So guys, that is gonna go and end off this vlog. It is the next morning, as you can tell by the beautiful bright sunlight. Just had a little bit of time on the balcony. And we are vlogging today as well. We're pretty much, we are. We're daily vlogging our trip here. Hope you've been enjoying these vlogs. Please do come back for the next one very soon. We're kind of uploading every other day because that's how it's been sustainable for us to be parents, get out and film the vlogs and edit them and do everything else around it that we need to do and see people and spend real time with people and stuff like that. The whole trip so far has felt hectic, but in a great way. Maybe one of these days we'll get a little bit of time to slow down and relax but for now we're enjoying rediscovering everything we love about Manila and all the stuff we missed whilst we were not here so much stuff everything you've seen in all the vlogs so far basically just the general vibe the people the warmth the welcoming the friendliness how easy it is to do stuff all our friends here the restaurants the food the beautiful BGC just walking around this incredible city gonna leave this one here please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today subscribe if you're new around here and Lucy myself and Coda will see you in the next vlog. Yeah, very, very soon. Goodbye.